This is the state of hockey, where the sport is a passionate pastime. The Wild! Filled with heartwarming stories of inspiration. The only thing you're thinking about is saving your child's life. Back in front, they score! And of joy. Hill Murray has won it! Of determination. I can care less if I can walk, as long as I can skate again. And of love for the game and the people who play it. The men and women, the girls and boys. What do we do when that puck's in front of our net? Get the heck out of there. Get it the heck out of there. The young and the young at heart. All right, I'm ready, I'm ready for one more shot. Now, Total Hockey presents a season-long celebration of the sport that's in our blood and the game that's a way of life. A series of half-hour programs highlighting all that's good in the state of hockey. This week on the State of Hockey, <laughs> the busy lifestyle of the first family of hockey, Johnny Pohl and Chrissy Wendell. I know a guy who, when we agreed to do this, the guy was like, you shouldn't coach with your wife. It just, it just bringing in another thing you can argue about. <laughs> The art of hockey through the eyes of renowned painter Terence Fogarty. I was never an athlete, but I observed athletes. And we'll meet Hannah Brandt, the high-scoring forward for a Gopher women's team with its eyes on another national championship. The State of Hockey, presented by Total Hockey, starts now on Fox Sports North. Hi everyone, I'm Audra Martin. Welcome to the State of Hockey presented by Total Hockey. This week we're at Mariucci Arena on the campus of the University of Minnesota. And we begin with the story of two players who starred for the Golden Gophers. Both were teenage standouts, both were collegiate first team All-Americans, and both were national champions. When they left the U, they became one. These days, Johnny Pohl and Chrissy Wendell are busy raising a family, and hockey is still a very important part of their lives. Chrissy Wendell and Johnny Pohl grew up on the ice rinks of Minnesota. I lived at the outdoor rink. After school, I would do everything I could to get to the rink as fast as I could. My dad was a high school hockey coach and a high school teacher, and so I'm the oldest of four boys. I remember as a little kid going to his games and practices and tagging along, and I just kind of got exposed to it that way. Both standouts at the prep and college level, Chrissy and Johnny experienced success after their time with the Gophers. Chrissy took home silver in the 2002 Olympic Games and captained the team to bronze in 2006. Johnny played professionally for the St. Louis Blues and Toronto Maple Leafs before retiring in 2010. Some of my best memories are, you know, growing up in the community that I grew up in. Here's Wendell and Drive, score! College especially was really fun for me. I had a really fun group of girls and we had a lot of success which made it even more fun. Youth hockey, high school hockey, and college hockey were fantastic experiences just because of the friendships that I was able to make and the, the people that I was able to play with. And for Johnny and Chrissy, more than just friendships came from the game of hockey. So how did they meet? Ah, you want to take that one? You got the honest story or you want the, the fabricated story? I'll now? give you the honest story. <laughs> I'd um, love to hear this. When I was a freshman at the U, I was a fourth liner. And oh, no, 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 I know where this is going, that's not, not true. Can I please talk? No. <laughs> the connection was Chrissy's brother, Eric, who was Johnny's roommate at the University of Minnesota. I'm sure our paths probably would have crossed at some point down the line, but my brother was a huge factor, as non-excited as he was about us having a relationship, but he's cool now. <laughs> Gotta get in your seat. The Mr. and Miss Hockey Award winners now have a family of their own. Daughters Emily, age seven, Anna, five, and Lucy, three. <laughs> Keep them busy on and off the ice. Go. I think more than anything, I don't think they necessarily ask to play hockey, but they would ask to skate. We want to go skate, we want to go up and skate. And then now, obviously, with us coaching, it kind of translated into them wanting to play hockey. Raise your hand if you scored a goal. Holy cow. If I knew basketball, I'd coach basketball. I just don't know anything about it. So <laughs> I just happen to understand hockey and have been around it for so long that it's kind of what we do. Can you track this going backwards? As a mom, I just want them to find something that they're passionate about and just be invested in that. Which means if we're pushing with our left foot, what is our right foot doing? Gliding. Very good. Whether they're phenomenal at the flute or <laughs> soccer or whatever it is, if they're good at something, that's great and I hope they pursue it. But we're much more concerned about the type of student they are, the type of person they are, rather than how good they are at hockey. I like being like this my mommy. In addition to coaching their daughter Emily's under eight team, Chrissy and Johnny are in their fifth year with the Creighton Durham Hall girls hockey team, where their passion for the game has evolved from player to coach. 
Is the game about who we play? No, what is it about, Candy? How we play, all right? Let's play I know a guy basketball. who, when we agreed to do this, the guy was like, you shouldn't coach with your wife. It just, you're just bringing in another thing you can argue about. But <laughs> this is our fifth year doing it, and when it comes to hockey, we really don't disagree, and that's probably a good thing. I think we see things the same way. And that's exactly where they're F3 and their D are jumping in. I think I will be a better parent of kids that play sports just from the fact that I've had, you know, these few years of being able to coach. Come on, D. It's been a great experience being able to give back to the school and Chrissy and I both got to play in high school and have great high school experiences and to be able to hopefully provide that for the kids and to kind of pay that back is another plus for us. The wings on every faceoff. Even with an impressive resume and their extensive hockey knowledge, the main goal for their high schoolers is simple, that they have a positive experience after their time with them. I hope they do learn some life lessons, whether it's hard work, being a good teammate, even if it's just showing up on time. There are so many lessons from sports that you can learn, and hockey's a great teacher of things like that. Chrissy and Johnny focus now on their family and coaching their teams. Their perspective on the game has changed. They now see the life lessons hockey taught them through the years and the opportunities it presented, which they now hope to pass on to their daughters and their athletes. I just hope they find something they're passionate about and really love it, because I think too many days we do things just because we feel like we need to and I really want them to be able to find something that they love to do and um, enjoy being able to do it because I think that's something that we've been able to do. I've been very fortunate. What are you going to do? Turn, the Turn towards the board. For me the fun thing about coaching is we got to spend an hour with our daughter and her friends today and to make them happy and to provide them an opportunity that's what it's about and when we go to the high school game to provide those kids with an opportunity to try to help them and be a real small part of their journey that's what makes it really fun. Great job, girls! Still ahead, the art of hockey comes to life on the canvas of Terrence Fogarty. I think what you see and observe, what resonates with people, is what I'm painting, not how I paint it. The State of Hockey, presented by Total Hockey, will continue on Fox Sports North.